to or welcome back to the third episode of How to Reinvent. I'm Jill and I'm the lead content strategist and manager for Reinvent. And I'm Annie, I'm head of creative and customer experiences for our global events team. So Jill, welcome back, third, welcome third back. episode. Um, Going strong. Yeah, exactly, we're excited <laughs> to be here. In this episode, we're gonna talk about training and certification, Yep. but we've also had two episodes prior to this. Mm -hmm. One of them was about content, our yes. content secret sauce. Yep. And then the first one was just a general overview of reInvent. So mm -hmm. if you haven't watched those, go check those out. But today, we're gonna start with some of the fun stuff that we wanna yes. cover. So uh, we are bringing back our hackathon program, obviously. Um, and we have four hacks and jams for people this year. Uh, the first one, of course, is kind of our very traditional, we've done it every year, our NGO slash charity hackathon. Uh, we choose a nonprofit organization. We work with them on some solutions and services that they need on AWS. And then we bring in teams of people and they hack away all day long and come up with some really cool things uh, for these nonprofits to cool. use. It kicks off with a happy hour the night before so teams can get together, form, get to know each other, and then hit the ground running the next day. It's like a 17 hour hackathon, so yeah. it's real. There's judging, there's prizes, there's usually like a masseuse to give back massages and pizza. It's a pretty cool thing. And so that will be happening this year. Um, and then we're bringing back Security Jam, always which is popular. always yeah. very popular. And uh, Security Jam is eight hours long. And then people will again work in groups and have access to AWS credit services, that kind of thing, so they can get in there and get their hands dirty. And then we're also bringing back game day this year. It'll okay. be a little bit different. Rather than one eight hour game day, we're doing two four hour game days. Oh, that's and that good. way more people can participate, a little shorter, but definitely just as uh, meaty and interesting and learning as, as the year before. And then we're also bringing back this year the very popular Robocar rally. So we're super excited about that. Awesome. Yeah. And I know you have some activities you want to talk about too. Yeah, we have um, a few things that I wanted to mention this time. Uh, we've got our Harley ride. So we nice. every year we have a Harley ride. You can come in on Sunday. We partner with a local Harley club. You can go out. There's two different courses that kind of take you out through the Nevada area near Las cool. Vegas. So one that's a little more advanced and one that's for folks who are newer riders. Okay. Um, so that's always super fun. It yep. happens on Sunday. You can go to the reInvent page go to the play tab and there's a page on the Harley ride. You can learn more about it and figure out how to sign up there cool. at, at point you over to our partners. And then the other thing that we do every year is broom ball. Uh, so broom ball is a very Amazonian yes, tradition. Yes, it is. Uh, we play it in a very specific style. So forget whatever you think you know about broom ball. I okay. you know I played it in college on ice. So it, is broom ball like uh, Quidditch, but people aren't actually flying yeah, on brooms? Yeah, I mean, maybe someday. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's a good challenge for our, one of our customers to come up with flying broom ball. Uh, we're playing it at the party this year. Oh, cool. Uh, so it's always a bit of a bruiser, but uh, we have a team that's won two years in a row, okay. and we'll see if they come back this year. Maybe someone can dethrone Sounds them. Sounds like someone needs to take them down. And then I was also thinking that maybe we could form a girls-only team Ooh. and really show people how it's done. Oh, I'm in. Yeah, for sure. I'm in. The only bummer is it's during the party, so we'll have to like play early yeah. uh, and then make sure that we go have fun at the party. Yeah, I'm down. Okay. I'm, I'm totally down for Maybe that. we play like the exhibition game, <laughs> girls There only. we go, there we go. <laughs> yeah. So um, if you're interested in Broomball, we'll put the alias on the screen. Uh, you can send us an email. If you don't have a full team, mm -hmm. um, that's great too. We cool. can match you up with people. Okay. Um, so some people choose to play with like their company, but a lot of people are just want to play um, and we, we form teams that way. Okay, awesome. Very cool. Okay, so now, Jill, I have um, something that I want to share, uh, a new quirky idea. Okay, um, I'm a little I, I made you wait until we uh, were on camera to yeah. pitch you this idea. Okay. You know, I write the quirky doc every uh -huh. year. That's where we pull all of our ideas in mm -hmm. um, and we review what we um, want to do this year. Okay. So you know that. And you also know that I am a big fan of In the Air Tonight, you know, that Phil Collins <laughs> song. Whatever this is, I'm gonna like it. Yeah, totally. So just <laughs> hang with me. Uh, so I was thinking that we could set the world record for the largest in the air tonight sing along at reInvent this year. Yeah. yeah. Is that a thing? Well, we could make it a thing. I am in. Doesn't, that sounds amazing. Doesn't that sound amazing? Yes. We can we can get everyone in one of the halls. We can get in the air tonight playing, <laughs> and the entire crowd can sing along. Um, yeah, definitely. But can we also get Mike Tyson? 
Um, because he has that scene in The Hangover? <laughs> well, what I was thinking is maybe if we asked him nicely, and Phil Collins, if you're out there, um, <laughs> maybe Phil come. I mean, that would be great. <laughs> I think he lives in Switzerland still. Maybe we can send someone by yeah, his why house. Not? Why not? Why not? Um, see if he wants to come over. Yeah, yes. He can do the drum solo because <laughs> that's the best part of that song, and you definitely cannot I, mess it up. We need to make this happen. Yeah, so yeah. sing along in the air tonight for a Guinness Book of World Record. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I mean, we haven't. I haven't pitched this to our boss or anything. But I think I'm it's sure going to go over fine. well because um, everyone loves that song. So if you're interested in that, just put it in the comments. Yes. And put it in the comments. Can, <laughs> then we can make it happen. <laughs> Making it happen. Okay. <laughs> so Jill, we're going to switch gears here. We're going to okay. have Shannon from our training and certification team come out. Uh, she's going to talk to us about boot camps and our cert exams, all of the great training yep. activities, hands-on labs that we have at Reinvent this year. Yes, and training and certification is a super important part of reInvent itself, um, but also across all of AWS. So we like to make sure people are aware of the activities and that they can actually get certified on AWS at reInvent. So let's take a look at a few of the cool training and certification activities we have available for you. Welcome back and welcome Shannon to How to Reinvent. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Before we jump into the details of training and certification, which is super important, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Sure, I am the Global Events Program Manager for the training and certification team. Been in the role for three years and this will be my fourth reInvent. Awesome, well welcome to How to Reinvent. Yes. Thank you. Very cool. So we know training and certification, super important part of reInvent, mm -hmm. super important part of AWS in general, but can you give us an overview of all of the training and certification activities that will be happening at reInvent? Sure, happy yeah. to. So on Monday and Tuesday, we will have boot camps, full day and half day boot camps at the MGM. And at the Venetian, we will have hands-on labs Monday through Friday, spotlight labs Monday through Thursday. We will also host uh, certification exams at the Venetian as well. And those will be Monday through Friday as well. We also have five certification information booths across five different venues. So we'll have that. And then we have two lounges this year, two AWS certified lounges, one at the Venetian and one at the Aria, as well as a certification appreciation reception um, at Brooklyn Bowl on Wednesday evening. So we've got lots going on. Wow, Shannon, that's a lot of stuff happening across yeah. the week. That's a lot to keep track of. Uh, can you give us a little bit more detail on what the hands-on labs are versus the spotlight labs? Yeah. So hands-on labs, uh, I like to think of it as a computer lab room. We have 200 lab stations, and it's good for walk-ups. So it's first come, first serve. You come in, take a seat, choose from our lab catalog. And if you have any questions while you're taking the lab, we have technical support in the room. So just raise your hand, and they're happy to assist you. And the room right next door to the hands-on lab room is Spotlight Labs. And that's a little different where we have chosen the lab for you. You have to pre-register for the lab. When you come in, there's an instructor that leads you step by step through that lab. Okay, cool. Great. That gives yeah. them opportunity for, you know, you have an extra hour, whatever. Yeah. Um, you can go and take one in a sort of more ad hoc fashion. But if you're a planner and you want to like make sure it's on your exactly. calendar, you can do the spotlight lab and really have that booked. That's cool. great. Yeah. yeah. Um, where can people find information about the hands-on labs if that's what they're interested in? Do we have it? We don't have it in the session catalog, right? Spotlight labs are in the session okay. catalog. Um, but if you um, uh, go to our website, um, you'll be able to see the list of labs okay. uh, on the website. Cool. So another super important part of uh, reInvent are, is the ability for our attendees to get AWS certified. Can you give us some details on how they can do that? Sure. Okay. So right now, prior to going on site, you can just go to the certification um, webpage okay. on the reInvent website and go ahead and register for an exam. If you're on site and you want to register, just go to one of our five certification information booths and mm -hmm. you can register there. We have exams all week, so there is um, definitely time for you to pick a slot that works in your schedule. Okay. And 
Can you tell us why customers would want to get AWS certified? Because I know it's important. It is important. Um, it's really, you know, it looks great on your resume. It's great for your career. And then on site, um, it's, it's pretty awesome because we've got some really great giveaways for our certified individuals okay. as well as it gets you access to both certified lounges and the appreciation reception on Wednesday. Okay. Cool. Super fun. Yeah. yeah. So Shannon, let's talk boot camps for a minute. Yeah. So boot camps are classes. They're either full day or half day, and they run Monday and Tuesday over at the MGM. The classes or the boot camps have a fee on top of the reInvent fee, so they're anywhere from $225 to $600. We have technical ones with labs. We also have some boot camps that are geared for uh, more business um, individuals, as well as certification, exam prep boot camps, and partner boot camps for our APM partners. Great, and how do you sign up for a boot camp? Sure. So they need to go into their reInvent registration page okay. if they have already registered for the conference, and they can just add the boot camp okay. um, and pay for it there. Okay. If they haven't registered yet, they, of course, need to register, and then they will see it as they go through the registration process. Okay. Cool. And boot camps do sell out. Um, so if you are someone who's interested, we always say we recommend you signing mm -hmm. up now because right. you know a lot of those will be sold out by the time we get closer to reInvent. Um, you can always add yourself to a wait list, um, but for those who are really passionate, we always Register recommend early. registering early. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, well, Shannon, thank you for coming today yes. to talk thank to us you. about training and certification. Yeah. Um, uh, one of the things that we like to ask all of our guests, and this is your fourth reInvent, you said, so we like to ask our guests what their tips and tricks are for surviving the week of reInvent. It's a long week. There's a lot going on. Um, what are your tips and tricks for getting through the week? For me, it's chapstick and lotion. Um, Las Vegas and, and the venues are very dry. Yeah. So having that always with you is really helpful. Mm -hmm. um, lots of water and then just take breaks when you need them. It's a long week. Um, there's lots going on. It's super fun. Like I, it's just so much adrenaline and so much energy yeah. feed off of it, but, um, but take breaks when you need it. And Jill, what about you? Uh, any further tricks from well, you? Last time, my trick and tip was about yoga and being zen. So this time, I'm going to be a little bit more fun. There's lots of places to get really good champagne when you're in Las Vegas. So Definitely. be sure to True. enjoy the champagne. Yeah. What about you? Uh, so um, I don't know if you know this about me, but if <laughs> I don't eat regularly, I get a little hangry. I can testify. Yeah, so um, I really make sure that I take time every single day to get a good lunch. Um, oftentimes, yeah. your afternoon is really crazy, lots going on. There's early evening activities, yeah. so you're rolling straight into the welcome reception or pub crawl. Yeah. Um, you've got a dinner with folks, but it's not until later. So for me, the only way I make it through the day is to really make sure that I get a good lunch. I'm not going to tell you guys where I go for my <laughs> secret lunch because I don't want it to get too crowded. Uh, but I definitely make sure that I get a good lunch every day. Yeah. Well, Shannon, thanks for coming this week. Thank you. Uh, and thank you for watching episode three of How to Reinvent. If you didn't catch episodes one and two, you can do that on the Reinvent website or you can subscribe now.